So we are with Will Nunziata and Nicole Henry. Will, tell us about Nicole. Oh, this girl. We've been friends for years, and um, past five years, as I've been working as a director with you know some major talent, I've always had my eye on Nicole, but never really knew what my in was going to be specifically. Then recently, um, I literally just gave her a call and I said, "Listen, we need to do a show of." of the music of a once in a generation talent because my love you are once in a generation talent. This girl has traveled the world and the country and what she's able to do with these songs and not only making it her own. Well, let's discuss what she's doing. She is doing Well, it's a it's a show a tribute to the vocalist Whitney Houston. Not just the a vocalist, a vocalist, the vocalist of all time, the pop pop vocalist that uh, all of us know around the world, really. So are you spanning her career? Not in that particular way. We're just taking songs, a, a good handful of songs, and making them fit into a, a story, uh, into these 75, 90 minutes, and telling my story, but also keeping the themes that Whitney gave to us through her music, which was hope, courage, truth, and love. Yeah. Of all of Whitney's songs, what is the song that touches your heart the most? Oh, it depends on the day. It's like, it's like when someone asks me what's my favorite song. Um, I, I think it's because I saw, I heard them play this song that I'm about to say to you. Uh, at the end of the documentary, which really tore your heart open and apart for her, the story of her life, and it was I Have Nothing. Yeah. She just wanted to have her happiness, to have someone that she could trust and have someone that could love her and, and have the love that she wanted for herself. Um, and that's what we all want. So I would say that. So you're going to have a harder time at my next question. I'm warning you now. Uh -oh. Uh oh. They say that eyes are the windows to the soul. Mm. But I think songs are. So what song or cycle of songs? or a series of songs okay. says who you are. Particularly from this story or no. in general? In general. Huh. <laughs> well, that's a, that's a really interesting, that's a great question. Um, I specifically remember the first song that I ever wrote all the lyrics down to, and it's quite a common tune, but um, when I first heard Desperado, mm. Mm, that one just tore me apart. I had to be maybe eight years old. I don't know. I was young, but I remember, and I think I know I still have that paper somewhere. I wrote it all out, you know, loosely piece of paper. Um, other songs. There's um, some songs from Aretha Franklin's gospel album, Amazing Grace. Mm. I think What a Friend We Have in Jesus. Oh, I love that song. Because we forget to go to God and just ask for help and talk to Him about our problems. And if, I think if we all do that as uh, individuals. I'll speak for myself. I I let things go when I when I just acknowledge them and put them up into the universe. Um, um, and then, ooh, I, I have to think of another one. You know, some of the qualities that Nicole are talking about, the songs that inspire her, excites me. As we co-write and as I direct this piece, we're able to not only I think celebrate the songs of Whitney in a fresh way. But also, we're building a theatrical piece where, you know, so many of these qualities that Nicole holds near and dear to her heart, like what she just said, giving it up to God and letting go, we present through these songs. It's almost like Whitney's songs are becoming the libretto wow. of this piece. And you know, you know how I work, as, I as, as Nicole does, I really look at everything on a sheet of paper, add on a sheet of paper as if it were part of a libretto. And, she brings a three act, well, like right? I mean, she, Nicole really does bring a three act play mentality to all of these songs, which I think are going to excite people very much. Now, you've never done theater, or have you? Ah, that's a good question. See, I'm going to interject and say, anytime that I've seen Nicole, each moment for me that she does, each vignette, is its own theater yeah, piece. Yeah, yeah, it's not But, theater. can you announce? <laughs> Uh, yeah. Not quite yet because I haven't. She has a very big theater thing that she just booked that hopefully yes. by the time this is posted. For sure. It's huge. She yes. just oh, booked cool. it. Very yeah. Well, I hope so, to find out. Yes, and I, I, we will certainly inform. I know that my reviewer Jeffrey loved you and oh, thought gosh. you were absolutely stunning. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I've done, I performed in cabaret clubs throughout New York, 
since the Metropolitan Room in 2008, and then along the way, maybe the convention, definitely at Feinstein's before, or over on Park Avenue. Um, I grew up a little bit on stage, but mostly singing. I, but I love theater. I studied it in college and uh, continue to take classes, so I think theater is an important part to any singer's career, so as far as performance. You won the Soul Train Award. I did. What did you win it for? I recorded a version of Bob Marley's Waiting in Vain, but uh, the way that we rearranged it and we presented the song got us nominated and, and I won for Best Traditional Jazz Performance. Does Soul Train yes. even exist anymore? I, the, the show itself does not exist, but the awards do. do. So I used they to watch it. Oh, who, After the, she. <laughs> Palmer's, Palmer's, yes, yes, yeah, right. Oh yes, the, that was that was like American Bandstand, Soldier. Mm. Yes. Yeah, but they have better dances. Oh, you better believe it. Which is why I watch. <laughs> you better believe it. Um, when are Thank you performing you your show? So we will be here Wednesday, two Wednesday nights. Wednesday, September 18th, and then four weeks later, October 16th, 9:30 at night. Well, we look forward to seeing you. We look forward to seeing you too. Thank you.